It is Tuesday, September 17th. I'm Stephen Graves with your news to go. We continue to follow updates on the second apparent assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump. Investigators say the suspect Ryan Roof never had Trump in his line of sight and never opened fire on Sunday. They say cell phone records show he may have been in the area for about 12 hours. Law enforcement says they are still trying to figure out how long he's been here in Florida and when Ruth made his way to Palm Beach County. Ruth remains in custody following his first appearance in federal court here in West Palm Beach. He currently faces two federal gun charges and 20 years in prison. Ruth is scheduled for a bond hearing on next Monday. The Martin County Sheriff's Office releasing more body camera footage of that arrest. Take a look. This video was taken on I-95 northbound about 40 minutes from the golf course. A witness who alerted Palm Beach County Sheriff's was actually flown to Martin County to confirm Ruth's identity. As of this time, the suspect has been turned over to the FBI and Secret Service. Sheriff William Snyder with Martin County Sheriff's Office says the deputies involved in the capture have actually been invited to Mar-a-Lago by the former president. All right, weather-wise, impact situation with some strong storms firing off cylinders later on this afternoon through the evening. You see the yellow impact weather icon between about 1 and 5 o'clock. We're going to see the marginal risk for isolated severe storms on the Treasure Coast today, so take it easy out there.